in this video we are going to discuss effects of lead compensator in the previous class we discussed about lead compensator so here i'm going to discuss the effects of lead compensator so some effects may be a uh, positive effects and some may be a negative effects so coming to here stability increases stability of the system is going to increase so this is our main intention to use compensator in a control system so here bandwidth increases so bandwidth is going to increase by using this compensator so in some applications increase in bandwidth may be a pro or sometimes it's a con so here rise time decreases so response rise time is the time taken by the response to reach 0 to 100 percent of its initial value for under dampered system is called as rise time so the rise time decreases means the response to reach maximum response the time to reach maximum response is going to uh, decrease that means it's a uh, it will give quick maximum response so here transient response is going to improve so here noise enters into the system at high frequencies because as it is the type of high pass filter network so it will allows it will allows high frequencies high frequency noise also sometimes so noise enters the system at high frequencies if noise is also in high frequency so as this system allows high frequencies that noise signals also is, are going to enter at high frequencies these are the different effects that we are having for lead compensator so stability increases bandwidth is also going to increase rise time is going to decrease so transient response will be improved and only con is noise enters in into the system at high frequencies when you are operating at high frequencies as this is like a high pass network so it will allows that high pass noise also high frequency noise also at the time of high frequencies so these are the effects of lead compensator in the next class we will discuss about lag compensator